New tonight, the old Blue Star recycling site in South Dallas. This is where that big mountain of shingles sat for more than three years. Now officially belongs to the city of Dallas. Our Aaron Jones talked to city leaders about future plans for that site and got reaction as well from residents in the Floral Farms neighborhood. For almost three years, Marcia Jackson and her neighbors stared at this giant pile of roofing debris known as Shingle Mountain. But now, removal of the toxic waste is almost complete. Uh, I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited about it. I'm glad it's finally moved. To get to this point, multiple lawsuits were filed, including one by the city of Dallas. Last December, a settlement was reached, which in part allowed the city of Dallas to acquire this site. As of today, uh, the city of Dallas owned that site, and so it's not an environmental issue as of today. Councilman Tanell Atkins represents District 8, where the site's located. You know, I am thrilled to death uh, that we did have the money to clean it up. I'm, I'm so happy that we uh, have something in place that this will never happen again. Um, it took a long time, but as you know, when you try to deal, do be a steward, a taxpayer money, it takes time to get stuff done. And now we need to do remediation because it has a lot of lead and some arsenic on there. These findings documented in the city's recent environmental site assessment. But now we need a re remediation to get that lead and get it uh, cleaned up. And we want to get this rezoned so our community continue, won't continue going through this. Now the big question is what's next for this land? That we're hoping that city will listen to the neighborhood and we want to park there. My first obligation is to clean it up. But we want to make sure that everything is um, in cold compliance. Uh, we, are, we are monitoring that whole site every day. In Dallas, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News.